Hello there, and welcome to Just Plays Mass Effect. This is the first Let's Play on the new Friend Donkey channel, and uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. So, without further ado, here we go. Now I have played Mass Effect before, multiple times, and it is one of my favourite games, but uh, we're going to be starting a new career here, in a kind of new style that I haven't Welcome played before. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Uh, decided for this playthrough, we are going to be playing as Fem Shep or Female Shepherd. Um, usually play as a bloke, but never play as a woman before. And uh, this is going to be a renegade playthrough. If you're not sure what that means, it basically means I'm going to be a giant pain in the backside to everybody. Um, but we've got to give her a we've got to give her a new name. We'll go custom female. Uh, we're going to be calling her Karen. Please log in to access your profile. Okie dokie. Warning: Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. I'll get right on that. Confirm pre-service history. Uh. These don't really make that much of a difference in the grand scheme of the game, but uh, there's a little bit of backstory here. You can choose what you want your shepherd to be. So there's the spacer, uh, which is basically where your parents were in the military, you followed them in and went into the military. You can be a colonist, kind of born on an alternate world and still end up in the military, or you could be born on Earth uh, in the streets and end up in the military. So we're just going to go being an orphan raised on the streets. Confirm psychological profile. These ones then, I guess, kind of are supposed to represent your character and how they behave, but again, don't play that much of a, pl of a, of a difference. So I'm going to be choosing Ruthless because Confirm we're just going to be a giant bitch to everyone. Uh, now these are your classes here, so they kind of affect gameplay. So there's the soldier, which is basically all-round guns shooting blazing. Engineer, using uh, tech abilities, I believe. Adept, which is kind of like your magic equivalent of this in the sci-fi universe. Uh, using biotic powers is what they call it. Infiltrator is kind of like a mishmash of the tech powers and snipers. Sentinel, there is like tech and biotic, and Vanguard is biotic and shotgun. Uh, I'm just going to be a proper soldier here and go in guns blazing. And we could choose a bonus skill. Um, don't actually know. I think hacking is probably going to be useful, so we'll Confirm choose that one. Facial identification. Uh, let's change our appearance up a little bit. And we'll just go with some random... Yeah, that seems like a Karen, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll go with her. I don't spend too much time... Ah, oh, she's got to have a scar. I don't spend too much time in character customising. Because it's not going to make that much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. I think that'll work. And we'll finalise her. Reconstruction complete. Yeah, that's Identification not... confirmed. <laughs> Um, I'm not too much into challenge and difficulty in games, so we'll have casual, uh, legendary mode, yeah, absolutely, we'll get subtitles on, <laughs> and the autosave, yeah, we'll go with all of that. So here we go, off on a new whirlwind adventure, into the world of Mass Effect. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learn to look out for herself. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. 
Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Sounds ominous. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. The civilizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. So here we go, off into Mass Effect. This is kind of like a sci-fi space opera type uh, game, if you haven't figured that out already. Um, think Star Wars meets Star Trek sort of thing, and you can kind of choose the dialogue, dialogue options and how you want to respond to certain characters in the game. Um, as I mentioned already, we decided we're going to be a complete giant bitch to everybody, because why not? So, yeah, this Joker guy seems pretty full of himself, but he needs to remember his place. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. <laughs> Sorry, Commander. So I'm told. Joker, that is report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach the Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Oh. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? So, the dialogue wheel kind of represents you have the up option here, which is kind of a paragon, so good guy answer. You have the kind of middling, middle of the road, not upsetting everybody answer. And then you have this one, which is kind of throwing a cat amongst a few pigeons. Uh, which is what we're going to be going off the majority of this playthrough, just to wind people up as much as we can. Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Yeah, this Joker guy seems to be winding people up the wrong way. Oh, soundtrack. Okay, so this is Karen. This is our ship. We're on the bridge here. Well, not our ship. Spoilers. Uh, we're on the bridge, there's a few people to talk to, we've already chatted with Joker, already know she's not a fan of him. And then this guy, Caden, right, he seems to be on our side, let's have a chat you with him. Don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Well, shit, I guess I'll talk to you later then. Right, off we go. Yeah, 
Everyone looking busy. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Yeah, Presley. Relax, man. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? All right, chill. I'll go and see the captain. I wonder what he was arguing about, though. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. Oh, yeah? What, what mission's that? I could just shut him up now and tell him to just do his job, but... We're nothing if not curious, I don't think. Just... What's he on about? Because I don't really know what he's on about. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Yeah, what's up with the uh, Turians? A Turian Spectre making a big deal out of that. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. I mean, sounds kind of racist. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Hmm. wonder what he thinks about the captain, then. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Hmm. See, this is how rumors get started, Presley. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a cover for what? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Hmm. Well, I'll just tell him to get back to work and stop uh, spreading rumors. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. Yeah, do as you're told, know your role, I grew up and buy a toupee. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Oh, will you lot just stop gassing and just get on with your jobs? I mean, what? Corporal Jenkins. I mean, if Presley's banging on about stuff. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. I kind of like her. I mean, I could tell part of the job, Doc, but... Yeah, I think Jenkins is the one being a dick here. So, yeah, we're going to agree with the doctor on this one. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Oh, dude, just relax. It's just another mission. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. We could put him in his place a little bit, just emasculate him. Or we could just be kind of motherly towards him. We all know what Karen's gonna do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. Hmm. I don't even want to talk to him now because, uh... Yeah, he's just gonna start rumours, he's trying to play the hero, just ball to him. For me. Goodbye, Commander. 
I mean, good talk to Dr. Chuck. Well, she sounds yes, pretty sound. Yes, Commander, is there something you need? Yeah. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Well, I guess I'll maybe I'll talk to you later. Right, let's go talk to the captain. Let's see how we do with the time here. Yeah, I'll have a quick chat with Nihilus. I mean, you're not the captain. I was told to go and talk with the captain. But there's a lot of a big deal about you at the minute. Let's have a chat. Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Dude, where's the captain? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. <sighs> now, given that this guy is like elite level operative, apparently, do we really want to piss him off? Or should we just kind of be middle of the road? No, you know what? Let's go full feminist. I'm a marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? I stand our ground here. Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I mean, it's obvious now. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. Yeah, stop mansplaining shit. That's why ship. we needed the stealth systems operational. Ooh. Music's gotten dramatic. I mean, let's just be like, yeah, you should have told me. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. Yeah, well, I needed to know. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. The hell's a Prothean? Asks Karen. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why don't we tell the Council? Yeah, why did we tell the Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Oh, Some shit. species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Probably not helping the matters here, being a giant bint to everyone. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. Oh yeah, I He's bet he does. Yeah, let's just bolster that. Wait, evaluate me? Okay, that changes things. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. Ah, uh, so he's impressed with us, is he? Forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh, shit, okay. Um, see, this is what happens if you're a bitch to people, Karen. Right, let's get you, you put my name forward. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I mean, would Karen really refuse this, considering that she's had a tough upbringing, she's scratched and clawed her way up to the top? I feel like she's, you know, gonna kind of regret being a giant bint towards Nihilus all of a sudden. This is where you start to see the choices come into play a little bit, but 
We'll just wonder what the next step is. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I uh, feel like we should probably know more, but uh, yeah, let's learn more about the Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody mm -hmm. really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Okay, so they're fairly important. Um, tell us more about this planet we're going to, Eden Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Man, it's a bit of a leap. Like, what if it's not even down there and it's all a false alarm? Just calm down, Captain. But, um, yeah, do Why we know this beacon so anything important? about the beacon? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was well, just that's a not a bad day. place, Earth. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? We've got cows. Well, it's a weapons archive. We can't let it fall into Nando's. Wrong, wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. Ah, space they pirates. Figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. I mean, with a name like that. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get we'll bring them on. a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Ah, so we're gonna have to start playing politics here, Kaz. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! You just told me, and I quote, it's a peaceful farming world. Now it's looking more like something that Everything Orson Welles should be narrating. No traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Octo Take us squid. Into it fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Mm. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. And guess Grab who's the leading it? In the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. I'm gonna need it. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Say yes, sir. Nyla, oh, we've got a with us? Jenkins guy with us. I move faster on my own. Someone seems confident. Ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. 
Otherwise, I want radio silence. I mean, now's not the time for a debate, really, Ready is enable, it? Sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Right, that's going to conclude part one of uh, the Mass Effect playthrough. Join us back here for part two, where we'll continue to find out more about this beacon.